Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about my hair care routine. I get a lot of questions about my hair and if you watch my videos you'll know I don't really do anything different to my hair for videos. I'm not going to pretend to be somebody I'm not and like have perfectly curled hair in every single video because I just don't do that in real life unless I'm going out somewhere or I've got something special or a party or whatever. I don't style my hair like in any kind of special way every day, I just have it how it kind of is naturally. So this video is actually going to be about hair care rather than styling. I'm going to do a few videos about hair um, in the next few weeks, a few days, just because I found a few really good styling products that I've been liking recently. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be kind of like a hair little series coming up. Um, and the first one is my hair care routine, so how I look after my hair, how I wash it, etc. As you can see, my hair is very long. I do colour it. I have highlights in every probably three months. Um, I don't get it cut very often, and I know you're meant to get it cut, say, every so many weeks, but personally I think it's all what your own hair is like, and that's how often I like to cut my hair, is probably every four, four months or something like that. Um, and, yeah, I like it like that, so it's all individual about how often you cut your hair. The one thing I do suffer from is a very sensitive scalp, and if I do tend to use cheaper products, I find that I get a reaction. It's not like an instant bad reaction, but over, say, um, a few weeks, the kind of irritation on my scalp tends to get worse and worse until I have to then revert back to using a more expensive, more natural-based shampoo. Ones that I've used in the past have been Aveda and Burt's Bees, which are both really expensive. Even though they are more kind of natural-based products, I do find that they kind of sacrifice a little bit of performance, if you see what I mean. Like, they don't leave your hair looking as nice. So I have been searching for kind of the ideal shampoo, and that's kind of why I haven't done a video about my hair care routine before, because I do get a lot of requests for it. I just haven't really found the perfect system until now. So I'm just going to let you know what I've been using and why I like it. Okay, so the shampoo and conditioner that I've been using are from Andrew Collins' Purity range, which look like these. I've actually been using the Hydrotherapy line. They do, I think they have four different varieties. This is obviously for dry hair. Okay, so the slogan is Professional Performance Naturally, and I actually couldn't really think of a better way to describe these. Um, like I said before, often when you go more natural in products, you do find that the performance is kind of lacking in a way. Well, I from my experience I have anyway. The Purity line actually tries to eliminate a lot of unnecessary chemicals um, but it isn't actually like all natural. It's not claiming to be like organic, natural, blah -de blah all this kind of stuff but it's claiming to kind of just be better um, than normal shampoos. Recycle packaging if you're worried about that kind of thing. Um, less chemicals for your hair, less chemicals for the environment, all that kind of stuff. So I was excited when I got these. I've been using them for about a month. I was actually given them, I went to an event at Andrew Collins' house and, I, and got to meet him and he actually did my hair. Um, he didn't like cut it or colour it or anything, he just styled it. As you guys know, I don't like to just kind of get a product for free and tell you all how great it is or whatever. I actually like to try it. So I've been using these for a month and I'm so impressed with them. First of all, they smell absolutely amazing. They leave my hair very, very soft. Um, and they just don't irritate my scalp at all, so I can't really fault them. And the best thing of all is actually they are really cheap. I think they're priced at four ninety nine each. Um, you can get them from Tesco's and Superdrug in the UK, and they're often on um, the two for seven pounds or buy one get one free or whatever kind of deals. So this is my new favourite shampoo and conditioner. I can't see myself switching from this in the foreseeable future. Like I said, even before when I was trying out natural products I just didn't get the same effect that I've got from these so I've really been liking that and I found the ends of my hair um, are nowhere near as dry um, yeah so the Hydra therapy anti-dryness or whatever for dry damaged hair is actually working so Andrew Collins Purity Range I am absolutely loving those I will put a link in the information bar to where you can get them from at Superdrug in the UK like Tesco and Superdrug are everywhere so you can just pop in and pick them up there so I've been loving, loving, loving using those. The second thing that I use, I've actually raved about a few times in the past, and this hasn't changed. This is the one hair care product that I don't think I will ever stop using. Um, I just repurchase it time after time. Anything else that I try, I always end up going back to this. And it is Kerastase Nectar Thermique, which are getting a little bit of glare back there. This is one of those products that doesn't really say exactly what it does. What it says on the front is, Nourishing care with heat styling protective agent. It doesn't actually say leave-in conditioner or heat protectant or anything like that. But this product is kind of in the middle of those things. You put it in when your hair's still damp before you blow dry. Um, and it does have heat protectant in it, which is great because I blow dry my hair every time I wash it. This does kind of act like a leave-in conditioner. You get really knotty hair and it just leaves your hair so soft. It smells amazing. 
Um, yeah, I just absolutely, absolutely love this product. It is expensive. Kerasas is an expensive brand. I think it's $17.95 or something RRP. I don't actually pay that much. I get it from a discount website online, which I will put a link to in the information bar below. And I believe it's around £13 delivered to the UK, um, which, you know, it's not a huge saving, but £4 off, I'm happy with that. Um, and like I said, this is one of the products that I, even though it's expensive, I will continue to buy. So I love that. So after I've used those three products, I generally just comb through my hair and blow dry it. Like, I don't have time to style my hair in curls or super straight every day. Um, but what I tend to do is I often get, like, a few curly bits at the front um, and a few wavy bits kind of in the mid lengths here. So I then use a another heat protectant on my hair. I know that the Nectar Thermique is meant to be a heat protectant, but once it's dry, I kind of feel like the protection is gone a little bit. I don't know if that... I don't know if that's true, but um, I kind of feel that way anyway, so I do use just like a normal liquid heat defence spray, and this is um, from Andrew Collins as well, um, also 4 .99. I do like this one because the pump does give a very fine mist. Um, yeah, so I heat protect my hair, and then I just use my hair straighteners to um, straighten out any kind of curly bits. I've got little baby hairs here, or in the mid length. Okay, so that's my hair care routine. Um, I only use four products. Like I said about styling, I will be doing a few more styling videos because I have found some very, very cool products recently that I want to show you guys that I like to use when I go out or if I'm kind of doing something special that I want to have a nice hairstyle for. Like I said before, I do get a lot of questions about my hair. Um, so I hope this has addressed that a little bit more. I do kind of skirt around them normally because, I, like I said before again, um, I hadn't exactly found the right kind of system for me. So I'm really happy with what I'm using at the moment, so I thought I'd tell you all about it. If you have any more questions, uh, please ask me in the comments section below. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Hey, I'm gonna be <laughs> Sorry, I just realised Woof is there. Um, hi! Say hi! Hi! <laughs> hi, Woof! <laughs> Hello! Um, sorry, Woof, you don't stick your nose is in the frame. What am I going to do? Hello? Are you going to say hello? Hi! Can you go and chill out somewhere else? Come on. On the bed. On the bed. Go on. Woof isn't dead. She's just um, lying upside down. You can see her little eyes moving.